is talking about our next guest <coughs> and his money. Millionaire mayoral candidate Willie Wilson just gave out more cash this morning. Yeah, he's here with us now. Let's get right into it. Willie, uh, how many people showed up today? How much money have you given out? Well, I, I don't know. I, I, I know last week we uh, had about $200,000, $300,000 last Sunday. And today... In, in I, one Sunday? Two to $300,000 in one Sunday? Mm -hmm. Yeah, last Sunday. About 2,000 people we helped there. Uh -huh. And then there was about another 500 to 700 people that came in off the street, uh, didn't have food and stuff, and I probably gave away another 40000 out of my pocket there. Uh, yeah. And then this morning, what about today? Another... Well, well, to today I, I we didn't get quite uh, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but we probably gave a little bit over one hundred, one hundred twenty-five, mm -hmm. something like that. That there was a um, what what caused the second time was that when I gave money last Sunday, yeah. So one young lady sent me an email and they said, "Well, where was it? Where was the white?" And I said, "What do you mean?" So I said, "Okay, I said, she got a point." So I did it again today. To make sure that the white, the black, Latina, Asian America, everybody's included because we want Chicago and I wanted to make sure we help everybody. Why right. are you doing this? Well, while I'm doing it, I was very poor when I came up my, down south. We made 20 cents per hour and so we had to borrow food, uh -huh. you know, and we had to pay it back. And so I consider today, everybody today is my father, my mother, the same way. And I've, I've done this over 25 to 30 years. Yeah, but yeah. why now, considering you're a mayoral candidate? There's so many people who are saying he's buying votes. He should not be doing this now. You should wait till after the election or before the election. Why now? Well, it, it's not why now. Six months ago, I gave away $150,000 right here. Six months ago, all right? And six months before then, I gave away 200000 And six months before then, I gave away some thousand. Every year, we give away that. Right. Uh, are you surprised? <laughs> Are you surprised that you're getting so much criticism? Do you understand why people think that, oh, he's trying to buy the election? You're, you're, you're getting a lot of headlines from it. You're getting a lot of nice attention from it. But at the same time, people are saying, well, he shouldn't be doing that if he's running for mayor. Well, you have to have people who are losing their homes and the people on the street who don't have food to eat. Yeah. Yeah, right? So, so I, I, I'd rather take that, I'd rather take that and lose a election versus have somebody starve in the street or lose their home. Right. Yeah. What is, let's talk about the process, because I'm really curious about this. People actually apply for the money, or do you just give it to them? What is the process? Describe it. Well, well look, the first come, first serve. You know, we don't, we don't check the application. We don't check their background. If you're hungry, you, you got a house, first come, first serve, we give it out. How now, much money are you talking per person? What, what today, we help assist $500 a piece per person, $500. all right? Now, some of the senior citizens and other people build, some of the senior citizens might be $600, mm -hmm. some maybe $1,000, so we've been halfway. And I understand this here. We give away every year approximately a million dollars to the different churches to help them with the outreach program. Then we give away about 300000 plus to people on the street who has to sign for food yeah. to eat. Well, we, we, you know, I won't pass nobody up. You know, I, I was born here to help others. People got to understand that about me. Mm -hmm. right. Now, you, you did face some criticism, too, from Governor Rauner, who said that he donated money to your foundation. He donated a couple hundred thousand, is uh -huh. what he said. And then, was there any of his money used? No, no. See, see the money that he, he donated, he didn't donate, he donated my foundation. I also put money in my foundation. 99.99% .99 of the money in my foundation I put in, okay? And so he put those dollars in. And I gave his checks. And I gave my check. But afterward, you got five, six hundred, seven hundred people coming out the street, want money. Uh, look, there was 200 uh, young ladies from Pacific Garden and in the shelter. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going to turn them down? Oh, no way. Uh -uh. And, 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 and so I said this year, but the governor, if, if anybody wants their money back, if he wants $200,000 back, I'll write a check back right now. Yeah. When, when you're <laughs> when you're giving the money away, are you also pitching your political agenda to these people that you're giving the money to? My, my, it, it's no political thing with me. Look, I, I turned this year, June the 16th, 70 years old. All right? I, 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 let me tell you what, I, I, I am a Christian, okay? I believe in Christ, all right? And the ultimate result for me is, is, is this afterward, heaven, okay? And the Lord has blessed me to get to where I'm at today. Look, I want to help those who cannot help themselves. Yeah. Yeah. 
If Mayor Emanuel was using this tactic, if you want to call it that, I mean, I like to think it's you're being very generous, but if Mayor Emanuel was doing this to try to help his campaign, would you be upset? No, look, if you look at this whole thing, check my record, 1995, mm -hmm. the, the front page Wall Street Journal, I was on it. It stayed right then and there, I was giving millions of dollars away a year. And then you track me from 1995, all the way up to now, all right? I've been on television, I've been everywhere. My record is, is, is clean. Now, if I had just started it, that'd be something different, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you win the election. Let's say you win the mayoral election, will you still continue to give money away? Well, let me say this, it ain't if I win, it's when I win. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. When you win the election, are you still gonna be holding these events and handing out cash and checks? I will be every week, every Sunday, like I am today, to do the same thing. See, the politicians got it wrong. It's about helping the people. Right. All right? Is okay. Mary Manning want to do that, something like that? Okay. Tell me, go in his pocket and give to the people. Stop giving out turkeys to people. Right. Stop giving out grant to people. Well, you've actually right. called out some of the other mayoral candidates, right, I, I, who have been very critical of you and told them, hey, stop criticizing me, join the club and do the same. I, have you gotten I, I, any response from no, them? No, I haven't gotten no response. I mean, look, people are always saying what they going to do. I have to check my record what I have done. Right. All right. Well, thanks, you know. And, and we said on this show, it's important to point out that you are not breaking any laws by, by no, doing this. No. You've, do, you've done this by the book through the foundation. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, foundation and mine. Look, the, 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 the 300 some grand I pass out, some of those people on the street don't have IDs. Some people get out of jail and prison, and they get a, a two month. I, I ID and stuff like that. They don't have no more, so they don't have twenty-five dollars to take then get ID. Am I supposed to turn those people down? I'm supposed to turn the people down. Like, look, I'm, I'm over in Rome, okay? People on the street in Rome, I help them. People from California, Texas, New York, around this country, I, I help everywhere I go. Right. right? See, the thing that people got to realize by me, I believe in putting the human being first, not politics and not putting money in my pocket and stealing it. Lock those politicians up that's stealing the money. Right. Yeah. Well, we're about done, but you do carry, you carry, now I gotta ask this, we're done with all the serious stuff. You carry a lot of money like that in your pocket without security? Well, <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 look, I have security, but the main thing is here, I would not pass up a blessing. I would not pass up a blessing, Okay. right? Yeah. So, so when I'm around, I'm careful, I walk the street. Look, when I walk back home, and I walk here today, Right, I walk there because the people's on the street, they 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 need help. All right, and I'm not gonna pass up a blessing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we had a poll question there, Willie. Uh, are you buying voters or helping voters? Fifty-seven percent of people say that you are helping voters. All right. All right. Thank, well, you, listen, thank you so much for stopping by.